Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and we are on uh, Java, beginning Java tutorial number five, which is going to be problem solving, which we are going to extend on to uh, work with as well on tutorial number six, which is methods and classes. Okay, so first uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a basic program to solve a problem. So let's say we have a student and we're going to scan in his first, his, uh, his first and last name, and we're going to calculate his GPA. Using the loop, using the loops that we went over last um, last tutorial, tutorial number four, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So first, we're going to do just for this. It doesn't really have a point, um, but we're just going to do it so we could uh, extend it on um, next uh, next tutorial. So we're going to create a new scanner and we're going to prompt the user system dot out dot print ln enter in your first name then we're going to have st string first name string last name so what we're going to do is we're going to just go off of this scan dot next int sorry next line line by the way, you could do this. You don't necessarily have to put it up at the top. Java, you could you could declare variables wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go ahead and space this out. And we are going to basically copy this and modify it. Because you always want to reuse code. Always use a copy and paste whenever you can. That's the biggest thing, especially if you have to do a lot of things. I do it a lot. And there you go. So now we have first name, last name, and uh, we're basically going to do a. Um, so we're going to do a while loop. So we're going to do. Um, uh, we're going to do a string continuing equals. Con okay, so. That's going to be our control, and we're going to say while continuing dot equals go, we're going to go through. And now we're going to ask the the user to, we're going to prompt them, we're going to ask them to enter in their grade, enter in a recent grade. Okay? And I forgot the end in print. So enter in your grade, and then we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna create something outside here called. Uh, so we're gonna call this a grade. All right. So then we're gonna do uh, grade equals scan dot next line and then we're going to have an end value we're going to say uh, grade points and total grades so we could divide their grade points by how many grades we entered so after you enter in a grade, we're going to go total grades plus plus to add to one of those total grades. Oh, but we're going to want to initialize it as a zero. Okay, so <clears throat> now what we're going to do is after we've done that, we're going to check. We're going to have a whole bunch of loops in here that check to see what that is. So we're going to say if grade dot equals a, then we're going to say grade points. We're also going to want to initialize this as a zero. We're going to say grade points equals grade points plus four. If and then we're probably what what we're probably of course going to want to do is copy and paste this just like we did above. Don't want to get uh, not lazy. That would be terrible if we didn't get lazy. 
So A, B, C, and D. Two, and then if it doesn't do anything, it won't add it in there. So if they mess around, it'll just it'll just um, keep going. So now we're just gonna make this a little better. So. So this is not necessarily needed, of course, it, but it's it's just it's just better that way. So, you know, so it could skip rather than checking all this. It'll just go through and be finished, right? So it, that should still work. This will save us some time, and it should go faster. Uh, so we're gonna say uh, type and go to continue, and then we're gonna do. Uh, um, continuing equals scan dot next line and then after it comes out of the loop if they hit no go they don't type in go then we're going to need to go um, system dot out dot print ln we're gonna say uh, total grade points is I'm going to space that out plus grade points and then we're going to say um, we're going to go ahead and separate this out I spelled print wrong again I'm going to want to copy that paste it and we're going to say um, total grades okay so now we're going to that's that outputs the total grade points and the total grades on two separate lines and then we're going to want to um, do a double GPA equals grade points divided by total grades and that'll give you GPA but I hit the wrong key there sorry about that and then we're gonna go system dot out dot print LN and uh, I forgot to enter in um, you know tell them what's your first and last name. I'm going to do it right here. So we're going to say first name first name last name last name last oops last name okay so that's good and then we're gonna do the final part which is right here which we're gonna reprint and paste here uh, GPA GPA is going to be GPA. Okay, so now uh, we should be good. We're going to look for any errors, and then uh, if we do have any problems, any syntax problems where it doesn't really do what we want it to do, we'll go back in and change that. So we're going to save it, run it into your first name, put my first name, enter in your grade. So I'm going to say I got an A, a B, Oh, so I, I forgot to hit go. Sorry about that. So it was working correctly. I just forgot to say go. Into your grade A, go, B, go, C, uh, go, and D.
2.0, uh, so we got a 4, a 3, a 2, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 divided by 4. Yeah, it's somewhere around there. Total grade points is so a 10, so we got 4, 6, 9, 10. Yes, so 10. And grade points 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, yep. So, but it's not a 2.0. Interesting. Should be a 2.5. So, grade points. Now you see a little bit of a problem of where the logic doesn't really meet what's going on here. Let's do this. Let's convert these to doubles. Okay, so, oops, whatever. Uh, A, go, B, go, C, go, D, go. Oh, and then we also see another problem here. So we want to cut this because it counted one of those as a grade, even though I mistyped it. So we're going to want to only do it in here. That way. Okay, so that did it correctly. So now let's try it one more time, see if we got it right, and it should have no problems. A, go, B, go, C, go, D, no go. 2.5, there you go. Now you have a working program that does the basic thing of computing your GPA, and you could use this for your own school or whatever. And pretty basic, you know, of course, it's very kind of hard to read unless you're the one that wrote it. You don't really want someone else to... to it's going to be hard for someone else to read it after this. But uh, yeah, so after, I guess after the next one, the, the, the methods and uh, classes, we're going to do um, another uh, class using the same thing to where we could do problem solving with that. And then we'll talk about how to add, how to comment this up and make it look better and separate it out so it's nice. For right now, you can see it's pretty nice, but uh, we'll make a nicer so you could read it and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So now we got a good working program. Runs pretty quick. As you saw, we went through it really quickly. Of course, you could even double click this to bring up the full console so you can see a little better or whatever. But yeah, so this is our grade point program and we're going to expand on this. And uh, part of the expansion is you're gonna use something similar to this here and uh, we'll continue that uh, next video. So this has been the end of uh, Tutorial number five for Java, so this is beginning Java tutorial number five. Uh, stay tuned for tutorial number six, and this has been Stephen from Legit Tech Tutorials, and I'll see you next video. Subscribe for other videos. Thank you for watching.